Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on how to find the equation of a circle if we're given a general equation. So basically this question is asking you to complete square. I know a lot of students out there don't like to hear the word completing square. It doesn't have to be a hard one if you know a few tricks along the way and know what a general approach is happening. Okay, so what I'm drawing over here is I'm setting up to do a complete square. The reason I have two boxes here is I'm going to add a magic number such that those three gets grouped together, become a complete square, thus the name completing square. Since I added a number, I better subtract it, otherwise I change what I started with. Same thing over here, I have added a magic number, I'm going to subtract the same number again and leave my 37. As you notice, all the original terms are untouched, x squared, 4x, y squared, 14y, 37, it's all there. Next thing we want to do is this magic number. Okay, It's magic in that whatever number I put in there, when I group the first three, it become a perfect square. So the magic number you need to do is take the coefficient in front of x, the linear term, okay, divided by 2, and you're going to square it. So in our case, it's 4 divided by 2 squared, it's going to be a 4. Since I added a 4, I'm going to subtract 4, otherwise I change what I started with. Let's try the same thing here. Okay, the coefficient here is minus 14 divided by 2, I'm going to square it. Okay, so I have a 49 because it's a 7. I'm going to do a 49 over there as well. So this, that's all. That's all really involved for the completing square. So completing square might sound scary, but it's not. Okay, let's factor the first three. We have x plus 2, it's a perfect square. If this is not clear, pause it on the side. Make sure you can factor this completely. Okay, so the first three are taken care of. I'm going to do the minus 4. It's right over here. I'm not changing it. Plus, I'm going to group those three again after all that hard work. I better have a perfect square. And then I have my old minus 49 plus 37 equal to 0. So I'm 90% there. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. And from here, we're magically going to show up as our center of the circle as well as the radius. Okay, so what I'm, I'm doing here is I'm moving all my coefficient or constants here over onto the, the other side because the circle has a unit over here. That signifies the radius squared. So x plus 2 squared plus y minus 7 squared is equal to, what do you know? It's a perfect square, 16. Next step, we're going to circle this. When I set this equal to 0, x equal to minus 2, set this equal to 0, y equal to 7. And this become my center of the circle. Okay? 16 is not my radius but 16 radical is my radius because the general form on this side is r squared. So r is equal to 4, r equal to 4, center of the circle is at minus 2 and 7. Okay. r is 4, center is minus 2 and 7. Well, I hope this has helped you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Two Cell Math Doc channel on YouTube. Please direct your future questions to my Facebook page. Here's the Facebook address, facebook.com slash Deutschmath. All right, until next time, have a confident day.